Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. Here's a little retaining wall, wall that we're gonna add on to this existing retaining wall in the back here. We're gonna remove that bench there. It's all wood, it's termite ridden, and it's not very good to sit on anymore at this point. So that's coming out. We're gonna push the patio over and get some more space back here. We're just going to extend from that existing retaining right over to the property line wall at the same height. The back wall is actually a slump stone. The actual retaining wall is a precision. They look similar from, from this viewpoint, but they're actually different. So there's some trees in the back on the other side, and that's um, just an easement area, HOA maintenance but these uh, roots come all the way through under the wall into this area so we had to cut a few of those out we're gonna have to cap off a couple sprinkler lines little odds and ends also we found a drain in here that was buried which came in real handy because we were able to adjust the height put a new grade on it and use it for a drain pickup area drain pickup for this patio extension So as we do this retaining wall here, um, we're going to establish, we'll get all the dirt out and establish the grade for the patio. Then it's real easy to see how deep that footing's got to be because we want to make sure that the top of footing is below um, the bottom of the new slab. That way you get a good slab over your footing and they don't, you get a thin area over a footing it's going to crack. So you want a nice even base for your patio to sit on which means the footing has to be below. There's the concrete we have. We got some quick creep bags there, which works great for footings and grouting walls. We'll mix this up by hand and then we'll have this solid grouted and we'll have we'll be able to pour up against it with the patio. So we went down about eight inches for the footing itself and then we went about a foot wide and then of course the patio slab will sit on top of that footing. Now what I'm doing here is I'm splitting these blocks. You can buy splits also by the way but it actually ends up costing you more to buy splits than to make them on site. So we just buy foals and we cut them ourselves. Now the beauty of making splits is now you've got a four inch block and that's how deep your slab is going to be so you got a nice even grade. And I'm not getting real fancy with string lines and stuff like that for a 10 foot wall. I'm just setting the block here and there. And then I'm going to pull, put this board up against it to make it straight. So we over dug just a little bit because we have to be able to get our waterproofing behind this wall. It's not retaining much, but there is a little bit of retaining here. So we're going to solid grout it. We have. We got one half inch rebar running horizontally in the footing and we're going to jab some rebar in, in these cells. Every third cell will have some verticals coming up and then we'll solid grout it. Notice that top course there. There's no uh, mortar in between those blocks. You can do an entire build like this if it was something like even a fire pit, fireplace, just stack blocks, fill it up with concrete, and uh, put your coat, your finished coat on it. You don't necessarily have to have mortar in between them for something like this, especially if you're solid grouting and you have bond beam, all bond beam block like we have here. Bond beam block means just the concrete is running horizontally through every course. And that's what we have here so it's very solid 
Now I just got done putting some type S mortar on here and I just trowel it on there. They kind of keep it all about the same thickness. And then I'm going, what I'm going to do is just let it dry a little bit. Once it gets hard enough. Now we have a little crown on the top of this wall I had to match. So I, I built it up a little bit. First I used the concrete mix which has rocks in it to give it a little height in the center. Then I put the uh, mortar on top of that because if you go mortar the whole distance is gonna crack up on you so you gotta go rock and mortar and that's how it looks when you're all said and done thanks for watching and have a nice day don't forget to subscribe comment and like